If you're like me and you've been looking for a podcast tool that not only lets you gather podcast feeds like many other podcast tools, but gives you a transcript, show notes, lets you pipe this information into other tools like Readwise, Notion, Obsidian, many others, this is something you probably want to look at. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you my first look at podwise.ai, showing you some of the ways it can connect to these other tools, how it looks, what it can do for you, and my overall impressions with it, where I think it's gone from there. So with that said, let's get into it. Hey, Adam with Productivity Academy here. So let's get into Podwise and talking a little bit about this app. Um, so you can use a link down below, head over to Podwise and you'll land here. Um, it's already showing some of the cool stuff that we're gonna talk about. Um, and this is the mind map uh, ability that they have built into this. Um, there's some good information here. I highly suggest checking it out if you're interested. Talks a little bit more. We're gonna go into most of this stuff. Um, but I do wanna touch on one that they talk about that they do uh, work well with mobile. Uh, but of course I'm doing this on desktop so I can more easily record um, and show you all of the features. So let's go ahead and hop in. So this is what we get when we're kind of on the home page um, and so this is just kind of you know a home page of you know some interesting episodes collections we can look at health and fitness podcasts all of that but if you want to get into your stuff that's going to take uh, place over here so what we could also do though um, is find more and you can just use a rss feed if you have it um, or you can search by keyword um, don't need to go into this this is Pretty self-explanatory. If you know the name of the podcast, pop it in, comes right up, works really well. Um, we can also go to my episodes or my podcast. So the difference here would be if you go to my podcast, that will just list out the top level, like the actual podcast, and you can click into that. So we'll do that in a second, or you can just go straight to my episodes and I'll give you a chronological list um, of those. So for example, if we come in here, we have podcasts. Um, so these are some of the podcasts I've subscribed to since I came in. And we can then click into that to get to the latest one. So if we click into the Tim Ferriss show, we can see that, okay, we have all of these and they are in chronological order. And this is important too, it says ready over here. So since this is a very popular podcast, what's happening, I imagine on the back end is that they're processing the podcast, doing the transcript, the summarization, the, the mind map, all the AI stuff. And they need to do that once and then they can store it in a database and it's ready for anyone to kind of pull from who's using the service. Um, whereas if you have maybe a more obscure podcast, which I'll show you in a minute, um, it, that it may not be ready or it's not, you know, eventually as more and more people use the service, it'll be faster and I'll probably be ready. Uh, but right now you may see you just need to click, hey, I want to process this one. Uh, you can also choose notifications. This is also something you can change in settings. Um, but with this, you can just choose whether or not you want to have a notification email sent uh, when it's available or when somebody subscribe or transcribes it. And you can unfollow that, you know, you just, you're not interested. You don't need to have this uh, in your library anymore. So let's go find uh, one of these. We'll go back and let's find uh, Behind the Bastards. And we'll go, okay, so you can see it does not have the episode uh, ready. So we can go ahead and click on transcribe, transcribe and it'll say this will deduct one from your remaining episode. So you have a quota um, if it hasn't already been transcribed, uh, kind of a smart way of doing it. So if you're following popular podcasts, um, which, you know, many of them are, and a lot of people are looking at Tim Ferriss or The Huberman Show or maybe Cal Newport or these interviews and these different things. Um, but if you have one where you want to transcribe and it hasn't been done, click continue um, and it gets working on that and we will come back to that. So we've already been through episodes where you can again, click on find more and do the same thing. It just brings you the pop-up where you can do an RSS feed or a keyword. Um, podcasts, same thing, high level. You can click find more. Uh, plan just goes into it. Yeah, that's like the billing uh, thing. And then over here we have settings and connections. So this is an important one where if you have Notion, you would want to connect it. I use Notion, but not for uh, show notes or uh, article highlights, things like that. I have it connected to Readwise, which I am definitely going to share and show you how that is set up. And I'm really happy uh, to say that they have added or implemented one change that I asked for. Um, actually, I'll just pop this up on the screen. Um, initially, it, when uh, you were using Readwise and you were sending a show uh, to it, which I will show you how to do, uh, it was ending up in the archive so you wouldn't really see it in your inbox. Um, although it did have the Podwise tag, so you could filter or make a filtered view there, which you, you definitely should do. Um, so that's a really important update. I really like that. Um, and then uh, you can send things to Obsidian and LogSec. Okay, 
So let's go back uh, and go into one specific episode and we will uh, send that over. So let's take a look at, oh, I don't know. Let's talk about this as Zen master. Okay. Uh, hasn't been requested for processing. I wasn't paying attention. So let's go down here to the Huberman lab and we're going to go in and take a look at this. On the left-hand side, you can see everything we can play and listen to it. Um, you've got summary, mind map, keywords, highlights, transcript, show notes, and send. This is where you can send it to the various services. And then over here, we of course have the uh, section we're on, which is a summary. We have a short written summary. We have takeaways, some bullet points, which is really nice. Uh, we have outlines. So talking about, you know, the retina, if we click down on that, dives into it, tells us more about it. Uh, we can also click on these timestamps. And if we do that, it will start at that time. Pretty cool. Um, so let's keep going down here. Now we have some Q and A's, um, the Q question and answer pairs that have been generated. And now we hit the bottom and we need to click over here to go to the next section. So this is really cool. I like the mind map. Um, I, I haven't found myself using it as much, but I like it actually for more of a summary than maybe even the summary, if that makes sense. You can quickly look through here. You can scroll in and out and just see, okay, the retina, gateway to understanding, they're talking about visual, specialized feature, uncovering the secrets. You know, you can kind of go in here and get a really high level idea of what's going on. Um, if you're not familiar with mind maps, you usually click on nodes to expand or contract, um, and that could be really nice. So it's a way, just a nice way of organizing knowledge. If you click on that, it goes to the transcript, but then you can click here, for example, and start playing it. So pretty cool. Uh, keywords. This is really nice. If you don't know what something means, you could hop down here and it's probably in there. Electrode array technology. You may not know what that is. Um, let's see. Dance. That's kind of funny. So definitely using the AI to do this, but you know, ganglion cells, really helpful for maybe some technical type stuff or things where you don't know what it is. Um, you can hop down here and find that instead of going out and looking at it. Um, some automated highlights that you can use and then the full transcript, which we've seen by clicking in in various places and show notes. So if you're not familiar with show notes, show notes are generated by the show themselves, um, usually includes the links, uh, you know, their own notes on it, things like that. Okay, so let's get into sending this to Readwise, which is what I wanted to share. So for this example, we can click on send and we'll click send to reader. And this is where we can now choose where we want it to go. Okay, and send episodes to reader, including all of this by default. And I'm going to say, okay, I want it to go to my inbox. I want to see it. Do you want to include the mind map? Um, I'm going to say, yes. Uh, I'll show you what it is. It's different. It's not the same as what you see in there. And they, they tell you it's displayed as a multi-layered nested list, meaning, you know, text. Um, it is not a clickable mind map anymore. Um, and then if you want to include the show notes or group transcripts by the outline, you can do that too. I'll just include everything so we can see what it looks like. And we click on send. And boom, there we go. So let's go ahead and click on view and we'll head in here and you can see it processing real quick and then we're into it. I've got a few things I wanna share with you on uh, Reader, but first we'll go through this episode. I wanna show you what it looks like and then I'll show you how you can do something like setting up a filter um, or a filtered view so that you have an easy way to get to all of your podcast notes that you send over. Okay, so let's go over here. Uh, again, if you're familiar with Reader, this should be pretty quick. You can speed through this. If you're not, uh, I'm just gonna explain a little bit how it works. You have a left and right sidebar. On the left, you have your organization or navigation. On the right, you have your information about it. They have also a summary. It's been summarized with GPT 3.5. You see your document tags, some other metadata, um, and any highlights you have made. Now, again, for those who aren't as familiar with Readwise, what I use this for is, let's say I go through here, I've got the summary, I go through, there's some notes, there's some things that are really interesting to me. I can highlight them, and this will automatically be sent to the tools that I have this connected to. In this case, that's Rome Research, other people use uh, Notion, Evernote, Obsidian, whatever that might be. So really handy way to do it. You can add tags to your notes, you can add tags to your document. Um, there's a lot of flexibility here, but um, that's uh, for a different video on read bias. Okay, so let's go down through here. We've got the summary, we've got the takeaways, and we've got the Q&A again. This all looks relatively familiar. We've got the keywords, we've got the highlights again, and then the mind map. So this is the thing that's a little different. Uh, we've got whoops, uh, a little bit of uh, the indenting, like they said, you know, kind of gave us that little tool tip. 
that we're going to get a nested list. So in future, I probably wouldn't include this with it unless there was some reason for me to. And then we've got the transcripts. All right. So pretty handy. And if we scroll all the way down, we can see down here the show notes, which also we could get to on the left by scrolling down and doing that. So that's what you get in Readwise. Pretty handy, pretty quick, um, easy to use. So now I'm going to go over and we'll talk about setting up a filtered view um, so that you can have a way to quickly get to your Podwise podcast show notes and summaries and all of that in one place. Okay, welcome to my Readwise inbox. So right away, we can see up at the top of the inbox, we have that uh, episode that we just went through and it's automatically got the document tag applied. This is important um, for Podwise. So that's really, really nice. So what we can do from there, of course, if you click into it, this is exactly what we were looking at. So we're gonna back out and we can go about this a few ways. But what we wanna do is set up something over here where we can just click and see all of our Readwise, or sorry, all of our Podwise podcast notes in one place quickly. That can be a really handy way to do that, especially if you want to go back and uh, see those. So the way I like to do this, there's a couple ways to get there, but we can go into manage tags and then we can type in Podwise and we see, okay, there's three documents and I believe I've already created one. So I'm going to kind of go through how to do this, but if we click on it, we can see, oh, okay. It's got all of these over here. Well, let's save a view. So let's call it uh, Podwise you. All right. And save it. All right. So now if we go down here, we've got to scroll down. It puts it at the end of this list PV. So it takes first letter from each word up to two. And now we have podwise view. So again, if I click on that, boom, we're right there. So to make this a little bit more clear, if I was in my inbox, you know, let's say I've got tons of stuff in here, or maybe I'm in my archive I'm wherever I'm at, I can scroll down here, click on podwise view and boom, got everything right here. So that's how I'm using it uh, so far with Readwise. Um, I've found it to be really smooth, especially I like since they put it in the inbox or the ability to send it directly to your inbox. To me, that's important. It just depends on how you use uh, Readwise. Uh, but for me, I like to, again, I wanna kind of triage things myself. Um, so that's been really helpful. I'm looking forward to checking out the mobile view on this. It's something I honestly haven't used that much. I've just been checking it out and using it with my desktop. Um, so that's something else to look at. But if you have any other questions about Podwise, connecting it with Readwise, how this is being used or how what else could be done, uh, feel free, leave a comment, leave a question. Happy to get back to you. Uh, again, this kind of early days for me, but I'm really liking what I see so far. Um, and if you want to check it out, you can uh, check out the link down below or go to productivity.academy slash podwise.